Hello, welcome back. This is 8-3 and we're talking slope fields. Um, we're going to go ahead and look at another example of, of a different slope field and how we solve the differential equation to that corresponding slope field. All right, so example five, here we have a differential equation, y prime is equal to one over y, and they want us to draw the slope field in the dot coordinate plane at the right. And if you look at this, um, maybe you're like, oh man, like those are a lot of dots, I have to calculate the slope. But for this one, it's actually pretty simple. Our slope is one over y. So I can take the y value, right? And I'll, I'll take this, this case here, the y value is one. So one divided by one is just one. Right, so that's what our slope looks like. And the great thing is that it's gonna be exactly the same, right, for all of these these dots. The slope is gonna be one, because the y value is one. Right? And so for all the y values of two, well, it's one over two. It's it's one half. Okay, so they'll look something like this. Right? Rise one over two. Okay, and then up here at y equals three, one over three, right? They all have a, a slope of one, one over three. So um, a little bit more flat. Okay, so here is our slope field. And then similarly, okay, at zero, right? All of these are gonna be, are gonna be well, actually I don't have dots there, right? So one over y, I, I can't, that's non-differentiable. The world will blow up, can't do that, okay. Uh, how about negative one? One over negative one. Well, it's negative one. So these look something like this. All right, it's a slope of negative one. And again, how do you know that this is is negative one? Well, over one, down one, right? And you can imagine if I make like a dashed line like this, right? Those are a slope of of one, right? So that's kind of what I'm I'm doing. Um, you can use the other points if you if you need to. Okay, um, one over negative two. That's negative one half. So like this. Okay, and negative one third again, more flat. All right. So there is the slope field. Part B. It says graph the particular solutions passing through the points negative two, negative one. Okay, so that's this point here this point here and two comma two so I have okay I'm gonna go ahead and be parallel to my my slope so parallel to the slope field all right so it looks something like this right and then coming up here and we're non differentiable at this right so it's gonna be something looks like this and then I'll go ahead and do the second one at two comma two so two comma two is here so again, there's my function and non-differentiable at zero. All right, and there's my function. Remember, and it has to be a function, okay? So you can't like keep going, right? You don't wanna do something that looks like like this, right? That's not a function, it doesn't pass the, the vertical line test. Okay, so uh, just keep that in mind. All right, then part C, solve the differential equation. So my differential equation is, um, y prime is equal to one over y, which we know that this is dy uh, dx is equal to one over y. We'll go ahead and multiply both sides by y. So we get y dy is equal to one dx. Okay, we can go ahead and integrate. And we will get uh, one half y squared is equal to x plus c, okay? And then we'll go ahead, uh, multiply both sides by two. So, whoa, computer's freaking out on me. Uh, y squared is equal to two x plus c two, and thus we get y is equal to either positive two x plus C2, or it could be a negative root, right? Depending upon uh, the point, okay? So two possible solutions there. All right, so now they want us to go ahead. Part D, it says write the functions as particular solutions for the differential equation that pass through those two specific points that we just looked at, right? So again, uh, I used blue for our first point. I'll go ahead and do that again. Now notice the y value is negative, right? So we're gonna utilize this function. Okay, so negative one is equal to negative square root of two times 
negative 2 plus c, okay? So I'll square both sides and we get negative 4 plus c. C2, we can call it just c, and then solving for c, we'll add 4 both sides. So c is equal to 5, okay? All right, so here is your first equation. Y is equal to negative square root 2x plus 5. There's your first one. And then for the second equation up here, which I did in green, okay, passing through the point 2, 2. Okay, again, the y value is positive, so we're going to use this equation. So 2 is equal to the square root of 2x plus c. Square both sides, 2x. Sorry, I forgot to plug in 2. It's 4, Schwarberg. 2 times 2 gives us 4 plus c, and thus c is equal to 0. So y is equal to the square root of 2x. And there's that particular solution. Okay, so that's differential equations uh, and slope fields combined. Now what we're going to do is look at some multiple choice questions um, on the next ones and try to, to find the answer, okay? So here they want to know which matches the slope field at the right. So let's just go ahead and look at some, some process of elimination. Here for uh, y prime equals x, okay, based upon my x value, that's always going to be my, my y prime. So here if it's 1, okay, maybe this one, right? But then all of these would have to be 1. And do you see how those are kind of going uh, more steep? So those aren't, that's not the answer. I can cross that one out. Uh, how about y prime equals y? Well, all of these would have to be 0, right? And they're not, they're about 1. So I can cross that one out. Okay. How about x minus y? Well, 0 minus 0 at this point, right? That kind of negates that option. So right away, I can throw that one out. Um, and then we have these two options. So again, I want to, we'll look at e. So 1 plus x squared. So again, say this is 1. So 1 uh, squared is 1. That gives us a slope of 2. So say that is 2, right? It's going to be exactly the same because none of these x values right, will change, okay, and that's that's not happening. The, the slope is changing for those, so this is not your answer, and that leaves D. So you'll notice, right, all these slopes are, are the same for all of these Y values, so that makes it kind of seem like, okay, regardless of the Y value is, it's going to be the same. Regardless of the X value, the Y value will be the same, um, and if I plug in 0 here, I get 0 squared plus 1 it gives us 1, Okay, and it's the same, right, for all, all of these values where y is equal to 0. Okay, and again, same here, right? If I plug in 1, 1 squared is 1. 1 plus 1 gives us 2. So all of these y values have a slope of 2. So D, boom. There's our answer. All right. And then example 7, same kind of game. Here they want to know uh, the slope field for a certain differential equation shown at the right, which of the following could be a specific solution to the differential equation. And kind of here, uh, just your knowledge of the functions comes into play. So we'll look at A, Y equals E to the X. Well, that is an exponential function that looks something like this. Does that match that slope field? No, it does not, right? So I can throw that one out. Uh, we'll go ahead and look at C, y equals negative e to the x. Well, that's just a reflection. It looks something like this. I did totally miss my y-intercept there. Okay, uh, which does it match? No, it doesn't. So we throw that one out. Um, y equals negative natural log of x. Well, I'm going to do e first. I'll talk about the natural log of x. Well, the natural log of x looks something like this. So does that match that slope field? No, we can throw that out. And then a, a negative one would look something like this. Okay, I mean, a kind of, kind of, but you'll notice that like these don't, like the slopes, right, aren't very, very steep there. It's not, it's not matching it, right? So that can't be a, a particular solution there. Um, so we can go ahead, and by now, by elimination, it's it's b. But you know that this is e to the x, an exponential function with a horizontal reflection. So isn't that, I'll try to draw a smooth curve, this graph here. 
and ta-da, it fits nicely. Do you see how that function goes parallel with all the other slopes? Boom, there's your answer, B. Okay, so just a little note, using lessons 8.3 and 8.1, you should be able to show graphically a particular solution of a differential equation and then confirm the solution by solving the differential equation, right? Just by using the slopes, your knowledge of the slope, and by graphing the function. All right, that is it for differential equations. Catch you next time. Peace out.